All right, so you're considering making a move to the Tampa Bay area, but you're just not quite sure where you want to be located yet. You're looking at areas like Wesley Chapel, maybe you're looking at Fish Hawk, maybe you're looking at areas like Lakewood Ranch. Um, you're looking at these planned development communities where you've got new construction, um, but you got a budget, okay? And uh, let's just say that that budget is under 500,000. As a matter of fact, let's say that budget is 400,000. Yes, I said 400,000. And oh, by the way, in the video that we're going to show you today, I'm going to show you a five acre crystal lagoon that happens to be in your backyard. And you can do that for 400,000. And we're going to get to it right after this. If this is your first time to the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a, re a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here in the state of Florida. Um, and I help people just like you relocate and move from all over the country. I'm um, getting texts, phone calls, emails, heck I'm even getting DMs right now um, and Instagram about people wanting to move or relocate to the area and uh, I am excited to show you guys today's video because let me just tell you you know as a real estate professional it has been one heck of a challenge recently to help families relocate um, especially if you were on a, a tighter budget you know the um, the median sales price of a home in the country right now has risen to over four hundred thousand but in our area that's been really tough to find anyone a home at that price range especially new construction in the area so in today's video we are going to show you some very cool properties uh, that are literally being built as we speak in the low 400s if if you contact us, we can get you on that list right now to get you a uh, home started. But we are also going to show you a very cool lagoon that happens to be in your backyard. So I'm very excited to that, about that, y'all. So I'm currently standing out in front of Sprouts, which is a brand new grocery store here. Um, and it's a healthier option in terms of markets go. I don't know if you guys have Sprouts in your area. Um, I won't say it's the same as Whole Foods, but it's it's in that realm, right? So um, if you're looking for you know more organic options, this is definitely the place to come. It's, a shop, it's definitely a place where Kate would come and shop. Um, but I'm standing in, in a brand new facility here uh, where we've got shops and dining all behind us and we're we're only 11 minutes north of South Shore Bay um, and the amenities here are endless so it's one of the things that you know the development we were just in you know it's it when you look at it, it looks like it's off the beaten path but 10 minutes up the road and you have endless options there are Publix there's a Sam's Club Walmart um, all of the fitness centers you could need the dental facilities everything that you need in in the area is just minutes down the road so having some of that seclusion is not necessarily a bad thing especially having all those menus at your fingertips you know having that lagoon in your backyard is bananas y'all and uh, while you may not be right next to the beach having the beach in your backyard is the next best thing as far as I'm concerned especially at the price point that you can currently get into these areas so and having access to these types of amenities just makes things super simple again it's not crazy busy we're less than five minutes away uh, with traffic lights to uh, i-75 30 minutes uh, 38 minutes to downtown Tampa you know depending on traffic obviously but on a good clean day 38 minutes to downtown so like I mean it's not that far it's not super close but you know if you look at what you're getting in exchange I think it's a no-brainer
So one of the things I always try to do when I'm showing you the communities is to give you a sense of like what else is in the area here in terms of amenities. And you know, Waimama is is not you know downtown Tampa, right? So it's a suburb. It's definitely what most people would consider more rural, except it's not. It's it's in that in between phase of like you know you're not out in the boondocks so to speak. Um, you're very close to the highway. Literally, we're minutes away from the highway, and I'm standing four minutes from uh, Sh South Shore Bay, where we just were. You know, there's a Publix behind me here. There's a Walmart on that corner there. There's an Aldi on that corner there. There is uh, automotive places. Uh, McDonald's is right in front of me. The the banks here as well. Um, you've got you know um, some uh, office buildings here. There's a you know a liquor store in the corner, a nail salon, and like I was telling you earlier, ten minutes up the road from here, you've got everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Crunch Fitness, LA Fitness, um, dental offices, doctor offices. Uh, you've got. Uh, Bayshore uh, Medical Center, which is up there. It's a beautiful facility. Um, and they're building a, a medical center right next to South Shore Bay, which I didn't show you guys, but they are in the process of building that as well. So just to give you some perspective, I know sometimes it's it's really hard to wrap your mind around it. When you look on a map, you're like, okay, well, that's not downtown Tampa. Well, no, it's not. Neither is Wesley Chapel. You know, 20 years ago, Wesley Chapel was the boondocks. Heck, even 10 years ago it wasn't. You know, it's really started growing up since then. But I think, you know, if you take a look around, I mean, you can see there's plenty of things going on here. You've got access to every single amenity you need. And I assure you, in the next 10 to 15 years, this place is really going to start booming as well. Um, so if you get in ahead of it, you know, you're the one that's going to be on the beneficial end of that for sure. And um, y'all, I wouldn't be afraid to live here. There's plenty of stuff going on in Waimama, uh, Ruskins, Apollo Beach, you're right by all that stuff. You know, we're talking 25, 30 minutes to downtown uh, St. Petersburg as well. It's a great little spot. It's a nice little hidden gem. And for the price point, man, y'all can't beat it.
right, so what you're looking at right now is the Cali model here uh, offered through DR Horton. Um, and this is stage five, and this is when they're selling these properties here. You can see building going on all around, uh, that beautiful, stunning lagoon, which we're gonna get you guys to next. Uh, I, I didn't wanna give it away too soon, but it, man, it's, it's cool. Great day for it too. Weather, just for perspective, it's 75 degrees out here. The sun is awesome. Uh, but you can see this Cali model, which is a four bedroom unit here. I'm gonna take you guys through it just briefly. I'm gonna step over all this, this mud and muck, but I just wanna give you guys a sense of like what it looks like. Um, in this pre-construction phase, or I'm sorry, in this construction phase here. So it is a two and a half car garage, which you'll see here. Um, I'm gonna take off the lens cap, so bear with me y'all. So y'all can see inside the dark. But you can see, we've got a roof, we've got walls, we've got frame, rough framing here is done. Um, it looks like they've got some, plum yeah, all the plumbing is, is in as well. So really cool to come check this out you know, when they're in these construction phases. These are 50 foot lots here. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the amenities, get you guys some details on that too. Um, you know, the HOA fees are like $75 a month and they include cable and internet. You get two boxes, internet, uh, even Showtime, I think, which is great. The CDD fees, which are community development district fees are about 2,800, just a little over 2,800 a year, I think is what they'll, those uh, round out to be. And the fee for the lagoon every month is $38. Now that gives you and your family unlimited access to the lagoon and the amenities there. Um, and then you also get, I think, 25 guest passes a year, which is something else that's really cool to keep in mind. Um, and then you can bring in guests as well. So uh, yeah, some really cool stuff. But right now I'm gonna take you guys to this lagoon because it's awesome.
All right, y'all, so as you can see, this place is absolutely incredible. I just can't say enough about how cool of an amenity this would be to have in your neighborhood. <laughs> now, I didn't grow up any, anywhere near a place like this, but man, to have a five acre lagoon, it's got its own private island, you got your own beach out here. There's a bar, there's a, you know, a huge television screen where you can watch the games and there's a sound stage there. Um, you can rent kayaks, you can rent paddle boards. Uh, you can do everything you need. You got a cabana cove, you got floating cabanas, the um, slidezilla is what they're calling the huge slide out there. This place has it all, y'all. So I hope you guys got value out of today's video. It was fun to come document it. I'm gonna try to make sure that I get all of the items like this in Florida so you guys can just really soak up what we have to offer here. And hey, again, if you're considering making that move, relocating, investing in the area, just know that my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. You can call, text, email, uh, direct messages, however you gotta get hold of us when it comes to investing in the real estate here or buying a home or selling a home here in the Tampa Bay area. Just know, again, we got your back. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.